Welcome back to part two of the um, exploration and correcting and uh, rewriting the laws of physics as a result of uh, potential difference research from uh, 2007 to 2020. So what I'm going to be explaining in this video is how the basically how the Newtonian physicists of the early 1800s basically hijacked the fledgling electricity and, and magnetism uh, studies and discoveries of that time and basically put electricity and magnetism under the umbrella of Newtonian mechanics and why the new Newtonian mechanics um, view or laws of physics are not adequate at explaining electricity and magnetism or even a basic electric generator operation. So what happened in 1822 or so when Michael Faraday made his first motor, the scientists of the day believed, because the only thing they had to use at the time was that uh, electric current flowed in a wire like water in a pipe. They, they believed that electric current was a material fluid and uh, Faraday didn't uh, agree with them at the time. He believed that elect the electric current flow in a wire was as a result of uh, tensions in the wire. So in this video we're going to look at the Newtonian uh, mechanics view of uh, a water pump pumping water through a pipe and how that is often used incorrectly to explain electricity and magnetism and why, and I'm going to show you why, the, the Newtonian mechanics model doesn't work for electricity. Okay, so if we have a water pipe and we have a pump and we're pumping water through the, the water pipe, when we increase the resistance in the water pipe, we will understand that it gets harder and harder to crank the water pump. This, this, um, a similar action occurs in basically an electric generator, which is an electricity pump. When you're cranking the generator, when you add resistance in the circuit, it gets harder to turn the generator. There is a there is an indication that the the generator operation and the water pump hand crank operation are the same. Now as we get into the further into the discussion you'll see that they're absolutely not the same. So now if we put a faucet here and we increase the resistance so that the resistance is infinite, meaning that no water current can flow, the, it will be impossible for you to basically crank the water pump. Now, if the Newtonian model was adequate to explain electricity or electromechanics, these two reactions would be the same and as you're going to see they're basically diametrically opposed. So if the resistance, so in, in this case the 
current, the volume flow rate of the water is zero. Now, if we have the same scenario in the electricity model where the resistance is infinite, infinite resistance is an open circuit, and the current flow rate is also zero. But the generator, cranking the generator, is extremely easy. And in the Newtonian version, when the volume flow rate is zero, it's impossible to turn the water pump. In the electricity model, when the current flow rate is zero, it, it's extremely easy to turn the generator. Uh, the minimal amount of energy is required, mechanical input energy. So in the, in the water, Newtonian mechanics water pipe version, when the volume flow rate, flow rate is maximum, when the resistance is zero, then it's extremely easy to turn the pump because there's very little resistance and uh, it's extremely easy to pump water through this circuit. However, in the electromechanics version, when the resistance is zero and the current flow rate is maximum, that's when it is hardest to turn the generator. Now the question is, why is it, why is it hard to turn the generator? And if the, if the current in this part of the circuit is high enough, the, it will be impossible to turn the generator. So the question is, why is is the why is it impossible to turn the generator when the current is maximum in the electromechanics version and why is it easy when the current is maximum in the Newtonian mechanics version and why is it easy when the current flow rate is zero in the electromechanics version and why is it impossible to turn the water pump in the Newtonian mechanics version? Well, the explanation is very simple. In the Newtonian mechanics version, there is no electromagnetic field created around the current bearing, the current, uh, the electric current um, wire and there's no magnetic field created inside the pump. The, the difference between an electric generator and a pump is that when current flows in the circuit, a magnetic field is created inside the generator which resists the turning action of the generator. And as I explained in the previous model, the increase in work that's required is dictated by the work that's performed by the electromagnetic field energy that's created around the current bearing wires in the generator. And the difference between electromechanics and Newtonian mechanics is that when current flows in a current bearing wire, magnetic field energy is created that magnetic field energy performs negative work and that's the difference between uh, the Newtonian mechanics model and the electromechanics model. Okay, that's it. That's part two and uh, thanks for watching the video. Cheers.